Welcome to Archbang Boot Camp Episode 3. In order to get effective use out of Archbang that we have installed in our virtual machine, we need to properly install guest additions, and we are going to do that today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. First, I need you on this page here on Arch Linux and we are on the in the wiki for VirtualBox. To get that, just visit Arch Linux's site, click on wiki and type VirtualBox in the search field and press go. It'll take you to this page. I need you to scroll down and you need to select this link here. Arch Linux Guests. When you click that link, it will take you to this portion of the page. These are the commands you are going to need to issue in order to get VirtualBox Arch Linux additions installed. Let's go into our virtual machine at this point, and we will begin. Okay, right click on your desktop and then go into Applications, System Tools, and RxVT Unicode. You can also access this by pressing Super T on your keyboard. Now, we need to operate as root. To do this, type in sudo S U. You will know that you are root because the Archbang logo is red. Okay, now, before we can start using Pac Man, we're going to need to do a little bit of updates. So, we're going to type in Pac Man hyphen capital S lowercase y y. This will update. Uh, everything in this will update the core, the extra, and community in your Pac Man configuration file. Now, let's go ahead and type in Pac Man capital S and I forgot what that name of the file was. Let's go and have let's go and have a look at that. That is VirtualBox Arch Linux Editions. Okay, and here is an overview of the command that we have just typed in. I'm going to zoom in on a little bit here. Pacman hyphen capital S means that you want to install and then the name of the application. Press enter. Do you want to upgrade Pacman? No, I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to cover this in a separate tutorial. So I'm going to press no. It's resolving dependencies at this point, and it's going to download VirtualBox Arch Linux modules as well as the additions. We will press yes to proceed with the installation. While this is installing, in a later episode, I am also going to cover updating your mirrors so that you can ensure that you're getting the fastest possible download speeds. This speed here that I'm seeing, because we commented out 
the uh, the actual Arch Linux repositories because those are throttled. We're actually getting a good speed here, so it's probably not going to be necessary for me to update my mirror lists and uh, run uh, a rank mirrors program on this the way it is at this point. But I will cover that so that you can ensure that you are getting the fastest possible download speeds. Excellent. It is finished recording. Now, we need to be able to activate these uh, guest editions. And so, I, I have, you'll notice I have my cheat sheet here underneath my photo. This is taken directly from the documentation. Okay, so we're going to type in mod probe hyphen a vbox guest vbox sf vbox video and then press enter. Okay, could not load these items. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and edit Etsy RC config. Okay, and you'll remember in my last episode, we are going to be looking at this one. So let's go in there and let's add these modules. Nano. Etsy rc.config or .conf, I meant. Okay, now, let's go ahead and move our mouse down. I hope you guys are in high definition because I know this little cursor is somewhat difficult to see. All right, we need to add VBox Guest. VBox SF. and VBox video. Okay, and then control X to exit, Y for yes, and then enter. All right, now I saw there was an error here, so I'm just double checking to make sure that I typed all of this in correctly. Now, to fix the error that we had on the screen where it wouldn't load the modules, all I had to do was restart the virtual machine and everything loaded up correctly. I tested it and it works. So we do have VirtualBox extensions working. Okay, and then the next step in this tutorial, according to the documentation, is enable VBox Client All. One thing I noted, and I checked this, all of these services are enabled. The clipboard, display, check host version, and seamless are already working, so it was not necessary for me to cover that part in this tutorial. If you felt this was useful, please comment, like, and subscribe. Google+, Plus, Facebook, and Twitter me if you want to stay up to date on all the episodes that are coming up on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.